For over four decades, Community Bridges has served a purpose to provide resources to people in Santa Cruz. One of the most successful programs offered is the Early Education Division. It's here where lessons are taught that go beyond the classroom. The children always are playing because that's uh, our goal, that the children learn, learn by playing. So all the activities that the teacher set up for them has an, a goal. Whether it's a song or an outside activity, teachers come up with interactive learning techniques to get kids up and moving both physically and mentally. The pandemic brought on many challenges to families. With that came a gap in children's learning abilities. According to the U.S. Department of Education, the early years of education for children are critical and necessary for a child's learning and development. But that's where Community Bridges is ready to get to work. And a lot of the skills that we teach are lifelong, right? How do you say no to somebody when you don't want them to do something? And how do you enter a group when you might be a little bit shy to enter the group? And so really facilitating, setting up the environment for them. One teacher makes it her goal to keep her kids engaged. Margarita Castro sings, she reads books, and plays with her students. Every kid is different, and I learn from them from them and they learn from from I teach. If you want to be like Margarita and teach, you're in luck. The program is in need of more educators for the program. At least a commitment to take six units of early childhood education. Cabrillo is a great program. That's where a lot of staff have gone. I went to Cabrillo um, and many of our team have associate degrees in early childhood education. Margarita is a prime example of this. My goal was I want to be a teacher. I'm going to pre prepare in Cabrillo to be a teacher. Six centers in total are offered and made affordable for families. Information on the website gives you insight to more of the programs that are offered. My learning never stops, and I hope that's what we can ignite with our team, the staff here, and also the children and families we serve. Reporting in Watsonville, Taryn Mitchell, Kiowa News Channel 46.